Welcome back. And, you know, flooding has been on a lot of people's minds after all of that rain we received this winter. 130,000 people in the Natomas Basin will soon be a little safer and better protected from potential flooding. District 1000 won their vote for their $96 million capital improvement project. And I've been out with the district multiple times since the start of our rainy season and saw firsthand the desperate need for repairs and new equipment. So we're going to take a look now at what all that money is going to go towards. Start repairing and replacing this pumping plant and it was previously covered up with duct tape. This is the damage Reclamation District 1000 is looking to repair. They've lost 35% of their pumping capacity. 30 years behind in deferred maintenance and last October we had a 200 year um, flood event and this pumping plant, which is our primary pumping plant, had 50% failure at the peak of that storm. Reclamation District 1000 pumping stations are in a run until failure mode, meaning during our most recent storms, the pump would run until the job was done or they failed. 55,000 acres in the Natomas Basin depending on them, plus critical infrastructure in Sacramento and Sutter counties. Not only is it the population, but also three um, major transportation corridors with Interstate 80. I-5 and 99 that run right through the heart of our district as well as Sacramento International Airport. So huge impact to the economy should we have flooding within the basin. According to the vote, 56 percent of voters agreed it was time for an upgrade. 96 million will be spent over the next 30 years. Here's a breakdown of where the money is going. 32.4 million will be spent between now and 2033 on pumping plants and upgrades. 8.1 million will be spent from 2031 to 2040. 26.9 million will be spent in 2041 to 2050, $55,000 will be spent annually in maintenance, and $900,000 will be spent annually for replacing culverts and drains. This approved capital improvement project will cost most single-home families an additional $12 a year.